Okay, we're in the lamination department now. And lamination is a really critical part about building a structurally sound boat. Uh, there are a lot of boat companies in the world that build boats with what's called a chopper gun. A chopper gun is a gun, we'll show it to you a little bit later. We use a chopper for building our seat bases, but that's it. No structural part of the boat is built with a chopper gun. Um, what we call sheet glass laminated is what we do. Um, we all we use sheets of fiberglass, whether it's a uh, cloth or whether it's a biaxial or whether it's a 24 ounce woven roven or possibly a mat. There's different purposes for all of this. Um, and, and one of the things that some of our competitors will talk about is this is called mat. And this is a four ounce uh, section of mat. Mat is the same thing as chopper. But the biggest difference is we know we have a sheet of four ounce mat sitting here. And if you come over here to the mold, when we, when we put a, a layer of mat or a cloth or whatever we might put inside the boat, we know that we're gonna get four ounces here, four ounces here, four ounces in the corner, we're going to get the right amount of fiberglass inside the boat that we designed for the structure of that boat. So that there's lots of different designs. You could, you have areas that you need to be very stiff, like the the keel of the boat, the stem of the boat, right down the middle. There's areas that need to have a little bit of flexibility. So there's a lamination schedule that's built for that particular boat in that particular spot, and so it's. What, what helps to use sheet glass is that we control the lamination process. And whenever you're using a chopper gun, there's no way to get four ounces in the corner here and four ounces here and four ounces here. So if you have five schedules, four schedules of chop, then every time you go into that area, you're getting more than you designed for that particular area. So that lamination schedule is just thrown into the wind. It, it really can't, you cannot control the lamination schedule. You can't control the weight of the boat. You can't control a lot of things. It really makes a big, big difference in the way that you meter the amount of glass and resin that you put inside the boat. Um, here at Sanger Boats, we don't talk about a, what our lamination schedule is, just the way in which we we make this process. We do a lot of things very uh, old fashioned. As you can see, these are wood cord composite stringers. They'll be, the, the, the fiberglass will be wrapped over the top of these wood cord stringers. Our competitors are using hollow cord fiberglass stringers or foam filled fiberglass stringers. We choose to core the fiberglass stringers with wood. This wood is non-rotting. It's impossible for it to rot. It's a glue lamb, if you can see it. That's actually got 14 laminates in it, in each one of those stringer units. Um, they're what's considered full length. They run all the way to the other end of the boat, and they will then get wrapped with fiberglass, uh, and, and that structure is then complete once they're wrapped with fiberglass. This wood cannot rot, okay? I can't make it more clear. This wood has got a chemical treatment to it in every one of these laminates. So there are 14 laminates throughout here. Each laminate has got a chemical treatment. You can drill 50 holes in it. You can fill the boat full of water. You can leave that water in there for the next three years. You can raise fish in this boat and you cannot get wood rot. It's impossible. We've never had wood rot with this product. The company has never had fungal decay ever. And they build over two million boats with this product. So you can rest assured that you will never be exposed to fungal decay in this product. Things like transom cores. Very few boat companies use a transom core in a direct drive or V-drive boat. We still use transom cores in everything. So when when you look down at the, there's a delta pad down there and there's a core on that delta pad. So 
what we may see it in a little bit different area here, but the, where the rudder goes through, where the strut goes through the boat, there's a core there. That core stiffens up that bottom section of that boat. If you were ever to hit something out there and tear the rudder off the bottom of the boat, the chances of putting a hole in the bottom of the boat are pretty slim because of that transom core and that delta pad core that's there. Um, so that's the major difference in the way that we laminate our boats. We use sheet glass and we control the process. We use wood cord stringers and those are still composite stringers. They just happen to have a wood core to them rather than a hollow or a foam core. We use no foam in our boats whatsoever because we do not rely on foam for structure. And a lot of other boat companies, if they didn't have the foam in the boat, they wouldn't have any structure based on what they're using in glass inside these boats. When you drive a Sanger boat, that's what you feel. You feel the fact that we laminate our boats differently and that we have wood cord composite stringers it makes all the difference in the world from a structure standpoint. And you never have to worry about wood rot. As you can see, um, the guys laminating right now, they're laminating, they laminate by hand. They're installing core mat up into the front part of the boat. All of our boats are open bow boats, all of our closed bow boats, all the decking is, is made with core mat. Core mat's a lightweight, um, expensive material that helps for, for getting a, a print through from the from the mat or from the uh, the cloth that's underneath there. It also is a really strong um, uh, material that keeps the front end of a boat from flexing. You know, in an open bow boat, you have a problem with structure up there, and so we need to use a glass up there, and we need to. Combine that with bulkheads that we'll see a little bit later that structure that front end of the boat and allow the boat to hold together. That keeps those windshields from falling in and, and it just makes the boat a more solid boat. Core mats use 100% in the whole top deck of the boat and that's this lighter looking material that you see down here. Once again, the stringer, the stringer uh, core material is here. Again, 14 layers. It's really what would be considered a glue lamb, and it's very structurally sound. There is no better way, structurally speaking, to build a boat than with wood. There are easier ways to build a boat, but structurally speaking, it is almost impossible to replace the structure of wood in, in this process. What the problem with building wood is, is that when you build floor pieces and floor sections, you have to laminate those sections together. You have to put flanges in by hand rather than laminating a flange into a floor section. You have to grind down sections so that they blend into the, to the hull better. This is, this is called crafting a boat together. This is what the other boat companies don't want to do because it's very time consuming. And if you're building thousands of boats, this is a problem. This is not profitable to build a boat this way. We build 400 boats a year. We don't have an issue with trying to get to the next boat, trying to build more boats under the same roof with the same amount of people. No, none of our competitors could build a boat like this and build thousands of boats, and that's the reason why it's easier to go with a glass boat. It's also assumed by consumers that a glass constructed boat is a better way to build a boat. That is an assumption, it is an incorrect assumption. A wood structured boat is a better structurally sound boat. And I think when you drive one of our boats, you'll notice it. But this is, these are the issues that come up when you're building wood because it, it just takes a lot of time and a lot of extra manpower.